Meanwhile, the EPR Waste Association of South Africa has been working with manufacturers, vendors, distributors and recyclers of electronics. It's in an effort to improve the country's e-waste management. We're joined now by e-waste association of South Africa's Adri Spengenberg. Uh, Adri, good evening to you. Thank you so much for your time. Firstly, let's talk about what goes then into the e-management of waste. Good evening, thank you. Um, what the EPR regulations and what EPR Waste Association really stands for is the Extended Producer Responsibility mm -hmm. Regulations, which came into effect last year, declared by the Department of um, Environment. And in this process, uh, there have been for quite some, some years associations like ourselves representing the industry, the producers, and now it's been formalized and legalized. So we are, are very excited about this development in South Africa. Ultimately, it follows on calls from work from several sectors that have long been saying that those who produce whatever products that end up as waste should be able to effectively take care of the full cycle of the life of that product, including once it's waste. Correct, correct. That is 100% correct, and that's exactly why the extended producer responsibility regulations were put in place. And in this process, we have either a product responsibility organization, which we are, and we represent various producers in the industry, mostly electronics industry, but also packaging industry, and we then represent uh, the producers who are stepping forward and saying we want to take responsibility and we want to put resources in place mm. to make sure that our products are recycled and recycled um, efficiently and sustainably. And um, yes, so that, that's where we are at this point in time. Uh, our members are joining and we are working on our, or implementing really at this point in time, our um, projects going forward. E electronic products can be some of the more difficult ones to uh, get rid of, especially because if, whether it's a laptop, whatever other uh, device, once it stops working and it can't be fixed, uh, p people simply just throw it away. And often how it's discarded, of course, um, can very much complicate even the process of just having to collect other domestic waste. This is true, and that is why we are at the EPR Waste Association really focusing on take-back systems. And this is where South Africa has done quite well in, in the sector, is that uh, the electronics industry has stepped up and came back uh, equipment or, as you say, electronics like telephones and laptops, etc., either fixing them because we obviously want to reuse them rather, and then when they do come to an end of life, have a whole dismantling process. We have many, many electronic waste recyclers in South Africa, across the country really, and it's, it, we really depend on the consumer to start being educated to find out where can you take your recyclables to. Mm. When it comes to especially electronic waste, if I can call it, people also want to know, so if you're saying I must bring in my old laptop, will I get something? Is there a way of incentivizing consumers to actually do that? That is exactly part of, of what we're looking at, is incentivizing consumers. But it is, should actually be something that you do because you are responsible and you want to play your part. They are businesses, obviously, some entrepreneurs and businesses we put in place to create jobs, which is really important to our industry. But we, we do depend on the consumer to bring back that material when you do buy a new one. There are valuables in that um, device, and you will probably get at this point in time, there are actually programs where you can get a, a, a kind of incentive. For example, the electronics uh, industry has you bring five in and we'll give you two back. And, and that is really like in the vaping industry, for example, which you wouldn't really think of, but they do that, and, and it's very successful. All right, let's leave it there for tonight. Adri Spangenberg is the packaging executive at, at the E-Waste Association of South Africa.